Hey guys, uh, welcome back again. We have a new friend, uh, Madhuri Garu, today. Uh, thanks, Madhuri Garu, uh, for joining again. Uh, friends, uh, you know, Thoda Hatke uh, lady here. So, Madhuri Garu, you would have seen the introduction. Uh, she's actually uh, so passionate about karate from her childhood that, you know, she decided to learn it. She started learning it at the age of 39, and now she uh, owns a black belt uh, at the age in 40s. And uh, apart from that, Madhuri Garu is also an athlete. She is an entrepreneur. She is a philanthropist, speaker, writer. She is a trainer. She is also passionate about uh, Karnataka music and uh, you know Telugu. She loves to teach Telugu to uh, people who are settled in, uh, in the US and uh, Australia and want still want to learn the language. She does spare some time to you know teach them uh, Telugu. Uh, she is pretty passionate about the uh, Telugu literature. So thank you for Madhuri Garu for joining in. Uh, this, this is the small introduction I have, but a very inspiring story. Uh, you know, good that you're here. And, uh, you know, uh, I read your story in the newspaper, I mean, the articles which were there uh, published. And uh, I heard that, you know, you're, you're one woman who never gave up uh, after all the challenges decided that, yes, I, you know, there is more to you uh, than giving up and you know sitting at home and decided to do all these things so the list goes on i mean is there anything that you haven't done <laughs> yeah uh, thank you ravi for that uh, generous introduction uh, i think there are a lot of things which we do uh, in our day to day lives but probably i had uh, a lot of uh, curiosity on uh, many things uh, like i have been a curious person right from my childhood the mm. first thing which uh, occurred to my realization was like, you know, you should be fluent in uh, English to be, you know, uh, uh, very special. So as a kid, actually, I started focusing on that area. Uh, as far as I remember, I think I used to read Indian Express at the age of eight. So mm. it all started there. And then, you know, our parents also actually drove us, uh, uh, you know, um, in a way that, you know, we were uh, proficient in multiple areas like, uh, you know, upgrading our uh, general knowledge, a lot of other areas. I used to watch that world this week, which was uh, sponsored and I mean, brought uh, mm -hmm. to us by uh, Pranay Roy, who now actually is a part of NDTV. So like, you know, I think we have uh, uh, grown up, uh, you know, with a lot of imaginations and fantasies in our uh, thoughts. True. So from there, I, I uh, you know, got into many other things. As a kid, I remember, uh, um, you know, I have a very, uh, uh, you know, um, fading memories of my uh, childhood. Uh, in, when I was in second standard, I remember mm -hmm. one of my teachers actually gave me a, a sticker to stick on my book. Uh, that sticker had uh, Bruce Lee. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I was actually completely uh, uh, fascinated seeing Bruce Lee at that uh, time. And I did not know anything about karate, uh, but I knew that someday in my life I should learn karate. So it took almost 39 years for me to actually uh, realize that dream. Uh, karate is not completely my life, but uh, today I am being called as Karate Madhuri. Somebody actually gave me the title also. Uh, that's not my identity, though I'm not a, I mean, a teacher or anyone. Yes, but uh, it gave me a lot of, uh, you know, um, Glory and the recognition and a special uh, preference. People started respecting me more after I. Age um, of thirty nine, nobody will believe the event. Nobody ante well dreams look at a raw and it's like a shade and case. So <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I am really uh, inspired the way you mentioned about you know how it started, how you saw the institute and all that. Maybe you can you know tell this to our friends uh, who will really get excited to see some of the, you know hear some of these things. Sure, sure. I was never formally into any sport. I mean, I used to play badminton with my sister. I and mean, both of us used to, uh, you know, go to uh, the local uh, outdoor stadium. Uh, I mean, it's not a stadium, it's a court. And we used to pay, play badminton when we were late teens and early 20s. So physically, I was fit and I used to walk a great deal every day to my college. So I think uh, that um, gave me a lot of uh, uh, energy. So I remained uh, healthy uh, all my life, uh, barring a few, uh, you know, uh, aberrations. 
so uh, you know what happened was like you know after a lot of turbulences in my personal life and professional life i was actually you know uh, thinking that i should do something uh, to gear up myself and uh, you know motivate my own self if i am not motivated i cannot motivate any other person True. so i was actually going for a an evening walk uh, in my uh, uh, area with one of my friends and we came across this academy called taika martial arts academy i was like mm-hmm. uh, looking at the board and it intrigued me i just stepped in and uh, met the sensei the founder and director of the academy grandmaster ashok chakravarti mm-hmm. so uh, he was actually um, uh, you know uh, very uh, impressed to see me i told him straight away that i was 39 and i i'm like i don't know i want to uh, get into this sport so he just said that uh, firstly i must appreciate that at this age you want to take this up age is just a number madam looking at you i don't think that uh, you would have any uh, hindrances that would stop you from pursuing this sport so uh, he told me he encouraged me a lot he gave me a lot of confidence before i could actually take that step it took uh, approximately 2 months for me to uh, take that decision mm. i met him in august 2017 and i joined the academy in uh, october 2017 so uh, you know it started off like for the first one month he focused on my fitness and uh, uh, you know uh, the other areas like he tried understanding what my uh, you know uh, weaknesses were uh, so and then he slowly actually transformed me into a proper athlete it took uh, roughly 3 months for me to understand the hard work and uh, the actual discipline that uh, is very important for me to you know pursue that because it was not like i was uh, getting trained for uh, a day or two in a week uh, it was like a, a part of my life every mm. day ex- uh, except for monday every monday is a holiday to our academy so every every day from 7 pm to 8 pm uh, um, you know like after i would return from my office i used to go to the academy the uh, advantage i have uh, is that uh, the academy is very close to my home so i i would return from my office drop my bags and uh, wear the karate outfit and then rush to the academy so the moment i i would step into the academy i would actually presume a different role my entire body language changes it, it it's like you know i forget my age because all the uh, other uh, you know uh, students in the academy are uh, more than 30 years younger to me so i i get trained with the uh, you know kids and i am the oldest Uh, obviously you know nobody could break my record so far so i'm the oldest one who actually got into the sport and uh, took it up it is a journey of two and a half years approximately uh, till i got my black belt and um, yeah i've had my uh, uh, share of uh, challenges uh, you know i actually sprained my ankle i had a lot of bruises around my uh, elbows it was never mm-hmm. that easy and um, that's the reason actually i could uh, you know get my black belt in two and a half years Yeah. otherwise it would take approximately 5 years to uh, achieve that milestone and uh, just a few months before i got my black belt i also won a gold medal at the national uh, karate open championship uh, in the veteran category so that again uh, you know gave me a lot of uh, courage that you know I'm, it actually uh, vindicated my uh, decision to uh, be in the sport so yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you know i've had my uh, a veteran okate you know that sounds i mean what is that age range uh, they are looking at when they say categorize you as veteran uh, i think uh, after you are uh, 35 years old right from 35 you are actually considered as a veteran uh, as, oh. i mean i don't know about the other sports but in karate it is that way okay i think they should change that mari pedda range aipoyinattu konde from 35 to you know uh, 60 onwards uh, veteran i think there should be a, yeah, a smaller section from you know 35 to at least you know 40 45 50 So, right. that, that's really good cool. uh, the standards are different for every sport uh, you know i think uh, in cricket also i think usually people start retiring from the age of 34 35 right because right. you start very early in karate also like the, the youngest kid in our karate academy i think is hardly 4 5 years old i still remember hmm. so you know it it ranges from there and uh, while actually i was pursuing my own dream i came across one uh, story of a uh, of an elderly gentleman from united states uh he's 60 mm-hmm. plus something he uh, won a, a gold medal last year it seems and uh, sorry black black belt and it seems he used to go to the academy along with his grandson 
and he got mm-hmm. inspired and then he got into it so there are a lot of people i think uh, in this world who drive us uh, you know to pursue things which otherwise we would feel are impossible to achieve frankly speaking i can get into any sport that's what i i feel today yeah, okay so barring uh, the uh, you know sports like you know javelin or you know high jump uh, you know we have some limitations otherwise we can get into any other sport it's all uh, in in your mind and uh, i strongly believe that age is just a number i think that should go as a tagline with me <laughs> true that that's what i was mentioning it's never late age is just a number and i'll wait yeah. for my grandson so that i i take him along and then <laughs> start practicing <laughs> definitely. this definitely i think uh, in this journey uh, i think uh, my friends my family and uh, my coach um, you know uh, they have been very supportive there were times when i really you know got uh, bogged down you know after i had some uh, health uh, related issues so at that mm-hmm. point of time they stood by my side you know especially when i sprained my ankle this is very important uh, why i'm sharing uh, actually i ended up with a huge uh, you know swelling in my right ankle and i was finding it difficult to walk so i limped literally for 15 days so at the end of 15 days my coach called me and said ma'am please start coming i said i still have a sprain in my uh, ankle i can't then he said no you just have to come then i actually uh, tied a bandage around my ankle and uh, wore my uh, outfit and went there and day one after my resuming <laughs> the training he made me jump you know we actually do this jumping and uh, other uh, exercises and acrobats kind you know to warm up he made me jump and with i just ignored the pain that i had in my ankle and started doing it and this is true actually you can even uh, talk to my coach so nothing actually i think discouraged me uh, you know to uh, make uh, this entire training very uh, challenging for for myself so we have some questions also coming in parallelly so dr mrinali is asking uh, is karate you started it for fitness self defense or for sport or for mental health uh all these factors are uh, uh, equally uh, responsible for it apart from that i think uh, that urge inner urge you know there was some inner voice that told me that i should get into this one uh, apart from you know fostering it for so many years as a you know secret uh, desire uh i just felt that you know this is something which can actually give a strong message to the society also that you know women are uh, uh, no way less to anyone okay yeah. and because you know uh, i've had a lot of people uh, in my environment who said ma'am why do you want to do at this age because mm-hmm. i wanted to prove a point to myself not just you know saying that you know i'm i'm a great achiever i don't go around boasting that you know i did something like this this is something which actually gave me a lot of uh, you know um, courage to pursue more difficult dreams and also to share the same story with a lot of other uh, you know underprivileged women and uh, you know differently challenged uh, people in the society you know it is very easy to discourage anyone it is very difficult to pursue you know t- a tough dream and i always actually have had this habit of you know getting into something which is really very messy and complicated mm. i don't know that's my tendency even today actually i have a lot of other things you know i i have this desire to uh, learn how horse riding and uh, you know swimming and many other things which are, which would sound really ridiculous uh, but yes you know uh, to build myself as a tough human being i thought karate is the right sport true and uh, yeah uh, the other question is uh, you know non chaku i mean do, do you also use that non chaku is fun yes yes and yeah. uh, i i was taught uh, you know two kathas actually we have kathas katha is actually one uh, discipline in uh, karate mm-hmm. and that we usually do with hands but nanchaku is something it's a weapon okay so we were trained in weaponry also so with nanchaku uh, i took almost like uh, one one year of training more than one year i think and uh, that actually uh, uh, you know gave me a lot of bruises on my head nose you know where, where i mean i cannot show the spots where i got hurt uh, but actually that made me feel like a warrior the moment in fact my employees actually attended my black belt test they saw me what i did at the end of the uh, competition they said uh, i think uh, we fell in love with your uh, you know uh, nanchaku kata especially the way you have you know uh, maneuvered wielded that uh, weapon is like uh, phenomenal 
so <laughs> i mean you know it's very difficult and you should know how to use it properly otherwise you get get seriously hurt and end up uh, you know with a lot of wounds and injuries yeah and so this is with the lady uh, dr munal lingaru i don't know why she is so passionate about weapons i i knew this particular question will come up she she has a collection of weapons i am not sure that, that is one reason i'm really scared to visit her so munal yeah. lingaru please feel free to shoot more questions non weapon related questions uh, but yeah we have compliments from uh, jitesh also is uh, you know he's saying that uh, you know the key learning from karate is that uh, all of the attitude and personality uh, yeah you know uh, yeah. yeah i think he, he's asking a question what are your key learnings from karate uh, i think uh, today i feel like a warrior first foremost thing actually has completely transformed myself uh, mm-hmm. i mean into a, a you know a very tough individual Uh, we all have our share of uh, you know disgruntlements and agonies apart from that you know uh, you feel like uh, you know uh, a fighter you know you don't give up that easily once you get into this sport so that uh, fighting spirit actually uh, you know got multiplied after i got into this sport uh, that is undeniable uh, you know i have this uh, with me actually we were taught this uh, kata <laughs> also uh, this is my <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> Why did you bring it on the live show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's just next to me. I just you were asking about weapons, right? So we were trained in Anshak and Sneeko also. Uh, you know, uh, it actually. Uh, Ravi asked the Ravi asked the wrong question, and you know, I know what <laughs> has to be used. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Actually, we take an oath, uh, you know, in our uh, uh, training period that you know we would never misuse our sport. we would only use it for self defense and to probably protect somebody who is in uh, you know uh, some kind of a danger or needs needs our help so this is something like uh, you know uh, a penance for me uh, very religiously i have been practicing it and uh, it gave me a lot of strength uh, to fight my inner uh, you know demons we all have our own uh, inner uh, enemies that we need to fight uh, you know on a day to day basis I hope I have answered uh, the questions. If there is anything, do let me know. Yeah. So it looks like Dr. Nandini Garu also practiced uh, Nanchaku for a while, and uh, she is also, you know, making sure that I am not threatened. She says that I follow rules. Don't worry, Ravi. So she is giving me the assurance that I am safe. <laughs> no, anybody would be safe actually with us. Uh, I must mean, congratulate Dr. Nandini for uh, you know uh, taking up this sport. it is really yeah. uh, uh, you know uh, inspiring and at the same time uh, the senseis i mean that the other teachers in the academy who were like junior coaches to uh, grandmaster ashok they have told me uh, on an occasion that madam you brought glory to this academy after you came to our academy uh, taika became uh, more popular uh, that's actually the biggest honor i think i can uh, never ask for probably otherwise Uh, i really feel humbled uh, by such compliments uh, you know I, i mean i don't know if i've done anything to the academy but yes I, academy uh, the taika academy gave me a lot and uh, i would like to give it back uh, if there is any such need so uh, it made me like a celebrity today i mean wherever i go i mean when i wear that uh, taika academy jersey people actually ask me ma'am are you into karate are you a trainer looking at mm-hmm. my uh, you know probably body language they thought that i'm a karate coach but i said no i'm a student i i i don't think uh, i can train anyone in the near future so we want to know more of you uh, not just uh, karate but uh, you know about madhuri so we have some rapid fire questions ready for you so you ready yes yes <clears throat> okay your first question why karate um it is an olympic sport and an international sport and we have people like uh, bruce lee and jackie chan who have inspired uh, uh, an entire generation in the last century and they continue to inspire bruce lee is no more with us but still he actually is a strong uh, driving force in many uh, people's lives so uh, i think uh, that's the reason i chose chose the sport your best birthday celebration ever uh i don't remember because i don't celebrate my birthday you know on a grand scale i spend my time with my family mm-hmm. so i think my uh, uh, 41st birthday uh, has been memorable uh, i've had uh, you know some surprises uh, in my home uh, a couple of my friends actually visited me and threw surprises 
so i think every birthday is special for uh, otherwise probably i should say that i'm not 42 uh, years old i'm 42 years young that's true so uh, you would have seen a lot of uh, sports movies uh, can can you uh, give your opinion in one word or one sentence for every movie i will you know talk about these these are all sports movies which are very famous in india dangal uh you come again dangal dangal okay uh true women's spirit ms dhoni uh a source of inspiration to uh, many indians sultan i did not watch that movie okay mary com uh i think she is the one who uh, inspired uh, many women like me uh, who probably uh, again after facing a lot of uh, challenges in her personal life did not uh, you know give up she defied she defied all the odds and uh, you know proved to be uh, a true champion bhag milka bhag uh, i think uh, this movie uh, educated everyone all the indians in fact many people did not know who milka singh was probably especially mm-hmm. our generations so this is again this uh, you know rejuvenated the inner spirits of uh, many sports enthusiasts gold sorry gold there's a movie called gold mm, i haven't heard of that <laughs> okay a uh, movie from our own region azhar um i did not know no chuck the indian yes uh, i think it's one of the best uh, uh, you know movies that actually you know uh, probably gave some uh, life to the sport that was being forgotten in this country you know uh, hockey being the national sport of india is one of the worst Uh, spo- uh you know was treat- treated uh, you know sports in the in our country unfortunately after that movie i think a lot of people started giving the uh, hockey uh, the due respect it always deserved ikbal uh, i've heard about that movie but i did not watch it okay sachin no no okay so we have a question from uh, dr munali again do you drive no i have a two wheeler so i ride uh, i i i can't drive but i never ventured anywhere okay uh, mind sports like chess or physical sports and why um i, I respect chess because it again has a, a deep indian connection for many uh, centuries mm-hmm. um i don't know much about it because i i, I never uh, had an opportunity to learn it but i strongly feel that physical sports are more uh, enduring and uh, you know they uh, enhance your uh, energies inner energies that is the reason i strongly support physical sports are more uh, uh, important and valuable to any human being so madhuri what makes you laugh um you know i uh, <laughs> there are a lot of reasons why i can laugh i love uh, uh, our legendary director uh, anjandhyala's movies a lot mm-hmm. you know i think he redefined uh, true and uh, pure comedy so whenever i actually feel uh, uh, distressed or upset i start watching uh, 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 his movies so i think uh, that is actually the main uh, uh, you know factor that can make me laugh i can roll on the floor and laugh literally and everybody <laughs> in my environment know that i can laugh <laughs> okay which movie specifically out of all his creations which one was your best uh, yeah uh, there are two important movies which i love a lot the first one is the sri vari ki prema lekha uh, mm-hmm. then then uh, um, chupulu kalisina subha vela yeah yeah i think i remember most of the dialogues from these movies something you can't do um driving i think that is one area which i really feel uh, <laughs> ashamed about because uh, at the age of 42 still i cannot drive i mean i was trained yeah. in driving but i never had uh, the uh, need or necessity to drive and i yeah, really don't feel like driving no necessity at all no necessity at all it is not worth the driving in this particular uh, traffic yeah. so it is better to take a cab or hire a driver you know i personally don't like driving in the city 
So, yeah. yeah. I, so, I no, do you don't have any regrets for this. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of regrets. Otherwise, I mean, you know, that the, link, the list is very uh, long. So this show will eat away all that if I start, uh, you know, speaking all those. Yeah, I mean, I probably thought, you know, I should have uh, uh, gone to United States uh, to, uh, you know, pursue a lot of other dreams which I had in my mind. But for various reasons and uh, uh, valid reasons, I did not do it. But that's fine. I mean, we cannot do everything in one lifetime. You have done a lot. It's tough for me. I mean, it was tough for me to read all those things which you've done. Or <laughs> you know, leave some for others. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think there are like a few things which probably are very difficult uh, to you mm. know cultivate or pursue in a lifetime, especially mastering a very difficult language like Telugu. Is, yeah. uh, I keep uh, getting into fights with my close friends and my family also. I keep, uh, you know, admonishing them, saying that you don't pronounce letters properly. You don't know how to speak uh, your own mother tongue. So, so I think I have mastered that. Yes, sorry. <laughs> that's the next question from Jitesh. He's saying, uh, would love to hear your Telugu. Please roll your words on Telugu. Okay. What exactly? I mean, like... Uh, yeah, anything which is tough, which, you know, common man like me cannot roll and you know, talk. Some okay, I, I'll which think about uh, uh, one of the greatest source of mo motivation in my life, Dr. Garikipati Narsimha Rao. I am a Mahasahasravathani. And I am a Telugu lo inta ishtam airpadadaan ke ayinu ka karanam ho. I am a Avadhana Prakriyani okka vidhanga chappal ante na bhuto na bhavishyati ane vidhanga ajaramaram chesar. అంటే తెలుగుని ఒక విధంగా విశ్వవ్యాప్తం చేయడానికి ఆయన చాలా దోహదపడ్డారు ఎప్పుడు కూడా తెలుగులోనే మాట్లాడండి తెలుగులోనే ఆ అందరితోనూ సంభాషించండి అని ఎప్పుడు తరచు చెప్తూ ఉంటారు అది నాకు చాలా గట్టిగా నాటుకుంది అనమాట నేను ఎప్పుడు నా స్నేహితులందరికీ చెప్తూ ఉంటాను రెండు అక్షరాలు ఆ అణ అళ ఇవి సరిగ్గా పలకలేనప్పుడు మీకు తెలుగు వచ్చినా రాకపోయినా ఒకటే అని చెప్తూ ఉంటాను అనమాట ఈ విషయం అందరికి నచ్చదు కానీ చెప్పడం నా ధర్మం అని నేను అనుకుంటాను ఆయన అడిగిన కొన్ని సారీ విల్ నాట్ ట్రై దోస్ టూ వర్డ్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ మెనీ యునో అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ ఇన్ తెలుగు లైక్ వాంగ్మయం యు మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ డోంట్ నో హౌ టు రైట్ రైట్ వాంగ్మయం వాంగ్మయం ఈజ్ అ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ వర్డ్ ఐ మీన్ టు రైట్ వీ కెన్ ప్రొనౌన్స్ ఇట్ ఈజిలీ there are many tongue twisters uh, like uh, you know i as i'm teaching uh, this uh, uh, lady in australia as i told you right so you know she keeps asking the telugu equivalents like what do you call an office in telugu and uh, supervisor mm -hmm. supervisor is known as paryavekshakudu she found it very difficult to pronounce it <laughs> because english alphabets you know whatever it is me enta tippi kottina kuda a to g 26 akshara tappinchi andlo emi ledu manaki telugu lo teesukunte chaala prakriyalu unnai vyakaranam undi ah enta vi alankaralu unnai avadhana prakriya undi grandhika bhasha undi pauranika undi nataka undi naaku telisindi chaala takkuva మనకి అష్టావధానం శతావధానం సహస్రావధానం ఇలా ఎన్నో ప్రక్రియలు ఉన్నాయి మన తెలుగు భాషలో ఉన్నంత అందం ఏ భాషలోనూ లేదండి అందుకనే ఎంతో మంది చారిత్రకారులు ఇంకా కొంతమంది ఇప్పుడు ప్రస్తుతం సమకాలీనులు కూడా తెలుగులో చాలా అంటే పరిశోధనలు చేస్తున్నారు అనమాట ఎందుకు తెలుగు అంత అందంగా ఉంటుంది మాట్లాడితే అంత అమృతం లాగా ఎందుకు అనిపిస్తుంది ఐ థింక్ మెనీ పీపుల్ మస్ట్ హ్ హర్డ్ అబౌట్ సర్ సిపి బ్రౌన్ హూ యాక్చువల్లీ కంపోజ్ అ డిక్షనరీ ఇన్ తెలుగు he being mm. uh, a britisher you know uh, spent most of his life in uh, you know the land of uh, telugu people to research the uh, history of that language and uh, he contributed a lot in immortalizing uh, this devanagari language it's one of the most ancient languages in the world and uh, is popularly known as the the italian of the east desa bhashalandu telugu lessani indukantaro manandarki telusu Next question is your favorite food. Papua Aokai? Yes. Yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you guessed Papua it right. Papua Aokai with uh, Nehi and uh, Bangala Dumpala Vepudu. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I ate the same food when I was in US also. I did not like anything that was actually uh, available in uh, US. You know, wherever I am, actually, I'm a typical uh, Telugu girl. Telugu. that's nice so how how was madhuri while you know during school days 
ఫిఫ్త్ క్లాస్ లో ఎట్లా ఉండేవారు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ లో ఎలా ఉండేవారు ఫిఫ్త్ క్లాస్ లో ఉండేటప్పటికి ఐ స్టార్టెడ్ ఫోకసింగ్ ఆన్ మల్టిపుల్ ఏరియాస్ దట్ వాస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ థింక్ ద టర్నింగ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ మై లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఐ యూస్ టు కంపేర్ మై సెల్ఫ్ విత్ యూనో ద టాలెంటెడ్ పీపుల్ అండ్ ఎస్పెషలీ ద వన్స్ హూ ఆర్ వెరీ నాట్ అబౌట్ టాలెంట్ అట్ ఆల్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ యాజ్ మాధురి యాజ్ అ పర్సన్ యా నో లెర్నింగ్ నో టాలెంట్ నథింగ్ ఐ మీన్ వి వాంట్ టు నో హౌ యు ఆర్ యాజ్ అన్ ఇండివిజువల్ అల్లరి చేస్తా చిన్న పిల్ల ఇట్లా ఉండేది ఐ మీన్ దట్ దట్స్ ది ఓకే అల్లరి అంటే లైక్ ఐమ్ ది ఎల్డెస్ట్ కిడ్ ఆఫ్ మై పేరెంట్స్ సో నా అల్లరి అంత మా చెల్లి పుట్టే వరకే ఉంది మా చెల్లి పుట్టిన తర్వాత ఐ బికేమ్ అ బిట్ సైలెంట్ ఓకే సో ఐ మీన్ షీ ఇస్ మోర్ యాక్టివ్ దన్ మీ అల్లరి అంటే స్పెసిఫిక్ గా ఏది చేసేదాని కాదా ఐ వాస్ ఆల్వేస్ యాక్చువల్లీ వెరీ క్లోజ్ టు మై ఫ్యామిలీ అనమాట బయటికి వెళ్లి ఫ్రెండ్స్ తో ఆడుకోవడం అలాంటిది ఎప్పుడు లేదు ఐ ఆల్వేస్ cling on to my maternal grandparents uh, i love them a lot and i love my parents and my sister na prapancham anta veelle anamata ippudike ekku veelle aa aa vayasu lo kuda ekku entante intlo undatamu chadukovatamu edo telusukovatamu ante prapanchalo jarugutunna vishayalu meda aasakti ekku anamata so a chinna pudu entante maamuluga aa vayasu lo aatalu aade vaalla tokkudu billa lekapothe ila daagudu mootalu ఇలాంటి ఆటలు ఏదో ఆడేదాన్ని ఎక్కువ చెల్లితోనే నేను ఇన్వాల్వ్ అయి ఉండేదా అనమాట బయట ఫ్రెండ్స్ తో అంత పెద్దగా ఏమీ లేదు స్కూల్ కి వెళ్లేదాన్ని స్కూల్ లో బాగా చదువుకునేదాన్ని ఆటలు లేదా అల్లరి అనేది స్పెసిఫిక్ గా లేదు ఎందుకంటే మమ్మీ చాలా డిసిప్లిన్ అనమాట మా ఏదన్నా కొంచెం తేడా వస్తే బాగా మాకు తన్నులు పడుతూ ఉండేవి నాకు చెల్లికి తొక్కుడు బిల్ల నాలుగు స్తంభాలాట ఓకే మేబీ ఇంగ్లీష్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఆల్సో విచ్ విల్ హెల్ప్ అదర్ ఆడియన్స్ టు రిలేట్ బికాజ్ విల్ హావ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది నాన్ తెలుగు ఆడియన్స్ ఆల్సో గివింగ్ దిస్ ఓకే సో తొక్కుడు బిల్ల తొక్కుడు బిల్ల ఇస్ వాట్ యు హావ్ టు యాక్చువల్లీ డ్రా మల్టిపుల్ స్క్వేర్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ యు నో వన్ స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది అనదర్ లైక్ రెండు స్క్వేర్స్ పెట్టారు యు హావ్ టు కీప్ వన్ స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది అదర్ అండ్ దెన్ అగైన్ బిలో దట్ వన్ మోర్ స్క్వేర్ and then two squares again and under that one more square so you have to actually throw a stone in one of the squares and you actually have to start uh, you know uh, hopping. hopping hopping you have to cross there is a name for it right there is a name snake and ladder no not snake and ladder yeah, snake and ladders and the vaikuntha pali adi actually i was coming to that one uh, i used to play this along with my sister vaikuntha pali lo chala vigyanam undandi i mean if you allow me to speak about it i'll tell you yeah yeah uh, please వైకుంఠపాలి ఇస్ నథింగ్ జస్ట్ అబౌట్ స్నేక్స్ అండ్ లాడర్స్ అనేది చాలా అంటే ఇట్స్ లైక్ యూనో వెస్టర్నైజ్డ్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ వైకుంఠపాలి ఇట్ డజంట్ మేక్ ఎనీ సెన్స్ యూ జస్ట్ సీ స్నేక్స్ అండ్ లాడర్స్ ఇన్ యూనో దాట్ స్పో దట్ వర్షన్ బట్ వైకుంఠపాలి అనేది మీరు ఒకటి అంక నుంచి మొదలు పెట్టి పైన అది వర్డ్ మర్చిపోయాను నేను పైన లాస్ట్ లో ఒక అంకె ఉంటుంది అనమాట అక్కడ వరకు వెళ్ళాలి అది అయిన తర్వాత if i remember currently um paramapada sopanam okay so paramapada sopanam is the actually uh, um, threshold of your of any human being's life okay and you actually uh, meet all your mind thoughts and you have decided that this is the time for you to rest and uh, you know introspect about your life సో దానికి ముందు పరమపద సోపానానికి వెళ్ళడానికి ముందు మీరు ఈ వైకుంఠపాలిలో అన్ని స్క్వేర్స్ అంటే అన్ని బ్లాక్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఆడుతూ ఉండాలి అంటే డైస్ డైస్ ఉంటుంది కదా దాన్ని యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాక్చువల్లీ స్ప్రింగ్ అండ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద కౌంట్ యూ గేమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ప్రొసీడింగ్ ప్రోగ్రెసింగ్ ఇన్ ద గేమ్ సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఇస్ దట్ యూ నో యూ హ్యావ్ లాడర్స్ అండ్ స్నేక్స్ ఆల్సో వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ యువర్ డైస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇండికేట్స్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గెట్ ఇన్ టు అ బాక్స్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ Uh, a snake's head you need to come back to the tail at uh, the box where the tail ends so this actually clearly signifies the kind of uh, challenges you come across the turbulences that you have to face and you have to stay prepared sure. you come across a lot of enemies in your life so each of these snakes has a name duryodhana uh, do you know uh, um, what is that um, arikashudu arikashudu is the biggest snake actually you are about to reach uh, paramapada sopanam three blocks before that you have the uh, head of arikashudu and if you actually uh, get into that you come to uh, you know the count three 
మళ్ళీ త్రీకి సో ఇవన్నీ ఆడి ఆడుకుంటూ వెళ్ళాలని సో ఇట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ మల్టిపుల్ టైమ్స్ ఇవెన్చువలీ యూ సక్సీడ్ అండ్ దెన్ యూ రీచ్ దాట్ సో ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ స్టేజ్ యూ హ్యావ్ బ్లాడర్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ వేర్ యూ ప్రాబ్లీ అచీవ్ సక్సెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ యూ నో గెయిన్ సమ్ మైల్ స్టోన్స్ అండ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ ఆర్ ఇన్ టు అ బాక్స్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద హెడ్ ఆఫ్ అస్ నేక్ యూ నీడ్ టు యూ నో యాక్సెప్ట్ దట్ ఫెయిల్యూర్ అండ్ yeah snake and ladder is only about snake and ladders like going up and down but in telugu version uh, basically each snake has i think the a character uh, characteristic of the evil uh, which basically teaches you how how deep you fall back uh, so yeah, yeah we have some okay the square lo actually oka animal kuda padtaru ok chotemo you see uh, you know varaham a pig ఒక చోట పోతు ఉంటుంది యూనో ఇట్ సిగ్నిఫైస్ దట్ యూనో హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ మైండ్ ఇస్ లైక్ మంకీ విచ్ హాఫ్స్ అరౌండ్ రైట్ యా సమ్బడి ఇస్ ఆస్కింగ్ సంథింగ్ నో ఐ షి మృణాలి గారు ఇస్ ఆల్సో హెల్పింగ్ యు అవుట్ విత్ అదర్ గేమ్స్ చింత పిక్కలు టీచర్స్ యు గుడ్ మ్యాథ్ సో చింత పిక్కల యా యా ఐ రిమెంబర్ ప్లేయింగ్ ఇట్ యూనో వెరీ లాంగ్ అగో ప్రాబ్లీ ఐ వాస్ లెస్ దన్ 10 ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ ఐ డోంట్ రిమెంబర్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ Uh, the reason why i did not learn more sports was like my mom always actually used to uh, you know keep us engaged in education formal education he always wanted her daughters to be uh, the toppers in the school so our time was spent only in formal education apart from these small things she used to let us out only once in a week to play outside otherwise ante mattilo aadukotam ivanni anta manchi pani kaadani she used to play in around the household itself we had lot of games like you know uh, jitesh is uh, supporting you with ashta chamma you know uh, that ente vorugu what what do you call this uh, in front of the house where you can sit argu 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 yeah i think that location itself had uh, you know lot of game options which you could play there so yeah <laughs> yeah it okay, uh, like you know we had very limited space uh, in in the place where we lived uh, you know when i was 10 years old so uh, i hardly used to uh, engage myself in any of these uh, sports but yes uh, once in a week we used to uh, participate in sprinting events like running races and in kho kho occasionally and any time your sister felt that uh, you know akka um, you know assuming that she is uh, younger to you based on what you mentioned so yeah. akka why did you learn karate now college days lo nechukunte naaku help ochi you would have helped me you know beat up you guys did she ever feel bad <laughs> yeah your sister uh, no no actually she's uh, she's a very important uh, person in my life uh, you know Uh, like a reflection of my life uh, we are cl- very thickly bonded i don't know about other siblings always uh, i mean like we went with the flow we never uh, complained about what we didn't do in our life because my childhood chaala andamaina childhood ante i mean my baalyamu chaala memorable uh, so we don't have any regrets of what we didn't do in our childhood yes actually when i got into this sport she said like i would get exhausted very much because i am a very busy person even when i am sleeping i think about something or the other so uh, you know she never said anything like that but she only said that don't exert uh, yourself too much but if you are loving it she they my entire family noticed me for 3 4 months they just thought that i am just going and would give up after 4 5 months because most of the students in our academy did the same thing they never thought that i would actually complete this uh, you know uh, lap lap of this uh, you know black belt uh, race uh, and uh, the day actually i told them that next uh, weekend is my uh, examination they understood that you know they, they saw me actually how much uh, hard work i put in in fact i was told by my sensei to give up my office time also uh, mm. in the last one month of my uh, you know examination period and i had to keep everything aside and focus completely uh, you know on uh, my training so it it, mo- it never was a regret uh, so she uh, yeah probably if i had uh, learned karate in my uh, teens or 20s i would have handled uh, some of the uh, you know uh, eight teasers who troubled us uh, uh, a few times in our life can you describe madhuri uh, during those college days describe in terms of your attire your dressing your hair style the ribbon and what was the color of your uh, college you know uniform so can you uh, describe madhuri 
Yeah, I think I think the moment I stepped into intermediate, uh, we got into normal civil dresses, normal dresses like anybody. The school school uniforms were like uh, only till uh, uh, I think I was in eighth standard. I did not study my ninth standard. Tenth grade again was uh, in a different school where we did not have any formal uniform. So the otherwise. Uh, my entire life, I think the color of my uh, school uniform was blue in color, navy blue. Uh, so the color of my ribbon was red. So I used okay. to, you know, I had uh, long plates in those years and I used to tie my hair like any other uh, school going girl. I was a very serious girl. Uh, you know, um, I, was, I used to ha end up uh, fighting with my uh, male classmates. Till 10th standard, <laughs> I studied in co-ed. So I used to fight with them. I used to have some classmates who used to, you know, smell very uh, um, stinking, <laughs> stinking me. So I used to tell them to, you know, stay away from me. So I, in those years, we had this uh, VR Chopra's Mahabharat uh, broadcasted on television channels. So everybody used to be very familiar with these, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mahabharat uh, characters. So there was there used to be a guy in my class who used to call me Kanswam at the moment. I used to shout at him to just uh, get lost. So he used to call me Kanswama. I still remember. Uh, yes. So, so you, are retired, you are retired while going to the college. That that's what I want to hear. You are retired while your college will let up to Amai Loka style on today. A book of Patikoni, Taladin Chikoni, you know, what 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 was your style of walking, you know, either directly to the college or to the bus stop and you know from there to the college? What was your uh, yeah. you know style? I had to there? I had to do a great de a deal of walking from my home till the bus stop. So every day I used to walk, I used to carry a bag. So I never used to actually look around. I was a very studious girl, very, very mm -hmm. uh, studious. Yeah, like typical those 60s, 70s uh, girls, you know, who are shown in the movies. Mm -hmm. I used to tie a very tight plate and uh, apply oil sometimes. Wear very normal dresses. I don't even remember what they are. Okay. Arjuna or Karna and why? Uh, Ar Arjuna... One second. Sorry. Uh, Arjuna, Ar I'm actually fond of Arjuna. He's the only one who is known as uh, Jagadeka Virudu and Savya Sachi. So I think these uh, inherently uh, influenced me a lot uh, because uh, he's the one who used to you know, shoot arrows with uh, both his hands and that's the reason he got this title, Savya Sachi. He's mm. my uh, uh, favorite uh, character from Mahabharat, all-time favorite. Nice. Well, what are the things you always carry with yourself, apart from that nunchuck? Uh, I, don't, I don't carry my <laughs> nunchuck every time. Yeah, I, I have a small uh, handbag in which I uh, carry, uh, you know, I think my uh, uh, lip, lip gloss uh, and uh, yeah, a small uh, photograph of uh, uh, mm -hmm. Goddess Lalita Devi okay. and uh, yeah, some vermilion. Normal other things, I think, a pen and uh, some uh, currency notes. Okay, your your favorite uh, sports person in the world? Uh, all time favorite are uh, War Brothers from Australia. And why? Uh, <laughs> actually, I I was in uh, my graduation first year when I saw them. Actually, Steve Boy and Mark War. I admired them a lot. I had uh, a serious uh, admiration for them. I used to watch uh, each uh, of their uh, matches. More than Steve, actually, I admired Mark Waugh a lot. He is one of the most stylish cricketers. I think nobody could beat him in the way he used to carry himself confidently. And he was very particular about how he appeared and looked. And I admired him more because I never had any style of my own in those years. Like I told you, right? I used to wear uh, ill-fitting, uh, uh, you know, Punjabi suits and all those. I was never much into Western clothes in those years. After I crossed twenties, I started grooming myself. So I, I fondly uh, admired him a lot. Uh, Did you ever have? Uh, sorry, sorry. You... Yes, nothing. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. Did you ever have pepper spray in your uh, bag? Uh, not really. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> not really means half pepper spray, not full bottle. No, no, no. Actually, I think when this Nirbhaya incident happened, right, uh, during that right. period, actually, my maternal grandfather passed away and uh, 
my maternal uncle and I had to travel to Triveni Sangam in Allahabad. Um, uh, this incident actually happened in December and we traveled to Allahabad in March uh, 2013. So at that time, one of my uncles who lives in Delhi uh, alerted me saying that you should be, uh, uh, you know, uh, vigilant all the time. Mm -hmm. So what I carried was Ashirwad uh, chili powder, a packet of that in my bag. That was the only time I remember I carried something a bit weird. Yeah. So that also you know, reminds me of an incident where, you know, <clears throat> I was heading a large BP and uh, we had this incident, uh, where, you know, the cab driver has, uh, you know, misbehaved or raped. Uh, so we ordered pepper spray, uh, pepper spray uh, from the US, which was, was completely illegal. So we, we packed it in some other different name and we imported that and we gave it to all our, uh, you know, uh, lady employees to carry it uh, because, you know, they were like, you know, hundreds of cabs and uh, you know, they were traveling in the night. Uh, they were getting robbed uh, in the night. So we gave these small, small bottles uh, to them. So, yeah, that's really good. So next question. So what what was your uh, memorable travel destination? Uh, United States. OK, any specific location? Uh, I love uh, New Jersey State a lot. I think I've been to a lot of places there, especially my favorite uh, place within New Jersey is Atlantic City. Uh, mm -hmm. It is the mini version of Las Vegas. Uh, I've been there like uh, seven to eight times uh, during my, my stay in US. So it's a different world, actually. I, I, was, I came from a very puritanic family and I saw the other side of the world mm -hmm. for the first time. Uh, I traveled on my own there. I was alone. Uh, I mean, like uh, to USA. There, I had friends who accompanied me to Atlantic City. So I sat with a group of people, you know, uh, playing uh, Spanish Twenty One, my favorite one uh, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Atlantic City. So there, actually, this city is located on the shores of Atlantic Ocean. So okay. I think I used to go for a walk occasionally. One of the most memorable uh, periods of my life. Cool. So, apart from your mom and sister, uh, who are the friends you can rely on? Um, I have my uh, um, best friend. Actually, th there are a couple of best friends. Uh, I would like to uh, mention uh, about uh, mm -hmm. uh, Venkat and Jisha. Uh, you know, they're like family to me. Uh, Venkat is the person because of whom I became uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, he was my boss and now he's actually <laughs> the uh, person who actually uh, paved a way to, uh, you know, make me an entrepreneur. Uh, he has been very inspirational. Uh, yeah, he's like family to uh, me. Awesome. Your favorite Indian breakfast? Pesaretu uh, and Upma. Okay. Do you... Uh... Fight karate in your dreams, or uh, in your dreams, it's a it's a different fight. Uh, in my dreams, I never actually fought with anybody. Yes, I've seen my academy a couple of times. Otherwise, I haven't seen uh, any anybody uh, you know fighting with me or I indulging into uh, a spat or uh, you know a brawl with anyone. Uh, my mm. my dreams are very uh, strange and weird. I think for anyone, it's the same. I always have had uh, dreams where I've seen myself you know falling down from uh, heights and okay. uh, ending up again. But uh, finally, when I actually reach the ground, I'm safely landing. So that is another uh, funny part. Otherwise, I've had these frequent dreams where I've seen a huge deluge around me. I don't know hmm. why. We hear, I mean, this is a question from Jitesh. Uh, we hear many of the Telugu films and programs, which uh, is dominantly mixed with English language. What is your message for Telugu Film Fraternity uh, to gain respect and uh, prominence in our local language? Uh, we should start loving ourselves only. First thing is that we Telugu to talk about Telugu. We have to talk about Telugu. We have to talk about Telugu. We have to talk about Telugu. Okay. Most of the Indian directors or producers actually always uh, focus their energies on uh, bringing some actors from uh, outside uh, Andhra Pradesh or Telangana. Okay, we have a lot of uh, talented uh, actresses in, within our own states. Okay, a person who cannot speak our language can never understand our sentiments or emotions. 
okay you can't relate with anyone who is a telugu person if you don't know what it is uh first firstly uh, i think i strongly feel that you should uh, master the uh, language and then always you know employ people who are from these states okay that will be like uh, you are giving an employment and uh, a source of livelihood at the same time you would be uh, you know immortalizing the future of telugu sure i think that is the future also by local rural local yes you know. empower local people i, I think that yeah. that will be the future forward yeah telugu valiki unna pedda job entante manu evarni kalisina mundu english lo maatladtam ledante hindi lo maatladtam nen us lo kuda ide chusanu koncham cheppalante us lo manikante koddiga chakkaga unnar cheppalante vaalu kasta telugu akkada maatladutunnaru ikkada adi kuda ledu adi mana durudrushtam ane cheppali deeni gurinchi mana sahasravadhani garikpati garu eppudu cheptu untaru ayina vaapoyedi ee vishayam ledhi Where do you see yourself in next ten years? This is a question from Dr. Murunali. Um, I see, I see myself as a more successful entrepreneur and a great uh, uh, international speaker. Uh, you know, I, I'm a very uh, uh, focused uh, lady in in th- these areas. Uh, I would love to actually indulge myself in more speaking sessions. Would like to narrate my own stories to a lot of people. um mm. because my speaking areas are again uh, you know focused around motivation emotional intelligence and leadership so i would like to you know uh, inspire people motivate and uh, speak with them indulge in, uh, with them coach them and uh, help them in uh, you know uh, realizing their own inner strengths which probably they don't ha- uh, have done so far so i would like to spend my focus points are these two only entrepreneur and uh, speaker Oh. and yeah. you definitely set a good example so you should be there so yeah. tell you accent this is a question from uh, runali gar uh, i am assuming that she is asking from uh, about uh, different accents we have uh telugu accents ante chaala unnayandi ante mandalikalu unnayi alage maniki yasa antar yasa prasa hmm. uh naaku nachindi entante naadi nenu ante nen puttindi eluru పశ్చిమ గోదావరి జిల్లా నాకు అక్కడ యాస అంటే చాలా ఇష్టము నేను మాట్లాడేది కూడా అదే ఆ దాంతో పాటుగా మీరు చూసుకుంటే ఆ ఉత్తరాంధ్రలో మాట్లాడతారు అలాగే తూర్పు గోదావరిలో వేరే యాసలో మాట్లాడతారు ఇక్కడ మన ముందు అంటాము వాళ్ళు ఎదర అంటారు ఆ అది కాకుండా రాయలసీమలో సీమ వారు మాట్లాడే వాళ్ళది వాళ్ళ విధానం వేరే ఉంటుంది వాళ్ళు ఏంటంటే ఆ ఎక్కువ ఏంటంటే కొన్ని పదాలు ఉంటాయి అనమాట తరచుగా మాట్లాడేది ఏమబ్బా ఎట్లా అట్లానే పోతూ ఉంటే ఎట్లాగా అలాంటి ఎక్కువ మాట్లాడతారు కానీ అన్ని మాటలికాలకి వాటి విలువ వాటికి ఉంది ఏది తక్కువ కాదు ఏది ఎక్కువ కాదు అన్ని సమానమే రాయలసీమలో ఇలాగ మాట్లాడుతూ ఉంటారు మళ్ళీ తీసుకుంటే మనం తెలంగాణలోకి వచ్చేటప్పటికి ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ వేరే యాస ఉంటుంది వాళ్ళు కూడా కొన్ని అంటే గ్రాంధికము పౌరాణికంలో వాడే పదాలు కొన్ని వాడతారు చక్కగా ఉంటుంది అది మన అంటే ఆంధ్ర భాషలో కొన్ని లేవు తెలంగాణలో కొన్ని ఉన్నాయి అనమాట ఇప్పుడు ఏం ఆగమాగం అవుతున్నారు ఆ సోయా ఇలాంటి పదాలు ఇప్పుడు తరచుగా నేను వింటూ ఉంటాను నేను ఎప్పుడు నేను వాడలేదు అవి కానీ నాకు వాటి అర్థం తెలుసు ఎందుకంటే నాకు నేను పుట్టి పెరిగిన విధానం నాకు తెలుగు నేర్పించిన ఉపాధ్యాయుల వాళ్ళ ప్రభావం ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది నా భాష మీద అందుకని నేను మాట్లాడుతున్నప్పుడు నా ఉచ్చారణ మీద చాలా శ్రద్ధ పెడతాను నేను మాట్లాడింది స్పష్టంగా ఉంది ప్రతి అక్షరం విడమర్చి అర్థమయ్యేలా మాట్లాడతాను నాతో మాట్లాడిన చాలా మంది అన్నారు ప్రతి అక్షరం చాలా స్పష్టంగా వినిపిస్తుంది సా సాకి స్పష్టత తెలుస్తుంది నేను శ్రద్ధగా మాట్లాడతాను అండ్ ఐ ఫీల్ ప్రౌడ్ అబౌట్ దాట్ దట్ ఐ కెన్ యాక్చువల్లీ స్పీక్ మై మదర్ టంగ్ ఫ్లూయెంట్లీ అండ్ విత్ అలాట్ ఆఫ్ స్పీచ్ క్లారిటీ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఇస్ విత్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఆల్సో బికాస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ ఎంఏ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లిటరేచర్ రెండు భాషలకి నేను సమన్యాయం చేస్తాను ఇప్పుడు కూడా what is the weirdest thing you've done mother girl in your life lo not here to be the thing which you've done I'm venturing into another country actually i think us i think that is weird it's only travel right akada, no no actually i'll tell you what happened as you have asked me chaala unnai weird things uh, I'll, i'll share a couple of them first one was like i was uh, 
uh, traveling to uh, New York from New Jersey, I enrolled myself for one uh, certification program in uh, uh, writing skills in New York. So I had to actually board a metro uh, uh, train there. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, reached the Metachan station, which is very famous in uh, New Jersey. I bought a ticket, a two-way ticket. So I actually boarded a train there and uh, I got down in uh, New York Penn Station. I got Penn Station under. I think you mm -hmm. probably already know you went there, right? So Penn Station, I got down and I had the address and I reached the location. I mean, uh, the training center on time and it all went well. At the end of that, what happened was uh, I had to actually take a cab and reach the Penn Station. So I reached it on time and I uh, went there. But uh, along to Nantiakada, you have to actually see the numbers of the trains and the destinations and uh, departures. So I saw when, uh, uh, like you have uh, multiple trains actually traveling to the same destinations within every five minutes. So what mm -hmm. happened was I actually uh, went there. Somehow I got confused with the number of the train. So I went uh, to the platform and I stood there and I did not realize that the train was right in front of me and I didn't board that. So it actually uh, left the station and then uh, what happened was there was actually a, an inspector who was standing. Uh, they don't allow you to stand on the platform unless and until you have a train there that you need to board. They don't let anyone stand. So he said, ma'am, if you're not boarding any train, please leave. So I came back and I was getting confused. I didn't know which was the next train I need to board because there were like multiple bulletin boards there, you know, display boards, which were displaying a lot of other uh, train numbers and uh, train names. Mm -hmm. So I stood there, I got confused and I started crying. Oh. And there was nobody who was around me who was actually bothered, bothering to come around there. I saw a lot of Indians there. I could see them. Nobody was actually uh, coming uh, closer to me and see like why this lady is crying. I started actually cursing myself. Why the hell did I leave Hyderabad? Why did I come to New York? Why did I board this train? And then uh, I reached to the uh, counter where these tickets are issued and I told him my problem and uh, the guy, uh, one good Samaritan guided me to, uh, you know, board into a train. All the while I started actually, uh, you know, cribbing about this thing and I called up my friend who actually dropped me at that station in the morning. I told him, <laughs> he said, don't blame USA and New York. Don't worry. This is a nice place. It's okay. You'll be fine. So I finally reached my destination. But that journey and that entire episode always actually uh, intrigues me a lot. Okay, Nandi, we're running short of time. So the final question, one minute CM. So what would you do if you become the chief minister? So you have a okay. minute to answer that. What are the areas you would focus on? Uh, the first foremost area is actually uh, making uh, Telugu uh, strongly uh, prevalent in every sector. Mm -hmm. Okay, because our culture is actually in serious danger. Okay. And uh, the second one is like uh, uh, education should be made free for everyone. Okay. I think uh, kids should not fight for education. Uh, education system allow on Dalante. Uh, where every every uh, child born in any state, for that matter, should have uh, this right to education. Vallo, edo ka karanan chayta majlo vallo journey agi po kodo. Yeah, I mean, um, KG to PG education should be made free. If I am a CM, I would definitely do it. And the next one is, sorry, the next one is like uh, health healthcare should be made available to everybody. And the other one is. I strongly believe in this slogan, yeah. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, which was uh, introduced by our late Prime Minister, Lal Bahadur Shastri. Uh, he's one of my favorite uh, Prime Ministers, great leader, who did a lot. Uh, had he been alive, he would have done more to our country. And uh, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Jawan, again, soldiers should be, uh, you know, protected in our country. Both these people actually are the ones who are running our country. Okay, they are actually soldiers without, uh, you know, I mean, uh, obviously, Javans are soldiers. The farmers are the ones who are actually making everything uh, possible for us. Mano, the Kanchola, Anantintuna, and the Walu, Raitul Kashtabal Tambale, Wheel and Sariga Chuskoal. I think these are the major areas which trouble me every day. Cool. Thank you, Andy. Thanks. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we're actually closing with our 60th minute. So, uh, long conversation, good one, very good insight. So wish you all the best with whatever you're doing. Really inspiration from, you know, the way 
though you had challenges in life, you you took it uh, ahead, and then you you set an example. Especially, I think uh, every woman around uh, who have crossed 35, 40, still have that question mark in their mind. Should they watch this? Should get inspired, connect with you, and uh, see what all they can do in life. So, Definitely. thanks a lot for taking time and joining us, Andy. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Ravi, actually, for making this happen. Uh, I mean, if not for you, I think I wouldn't have connected with so many lovely uh, people around. Uh, um, I hope to meet you soon. Uh, because of this lockdown, nothing is happening around. Right. Uh, thank you so much. I wish you, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, all the very best, I mean, to, you know, bring a lot of such uh, individuals again to the forum and, uh, you know, introduce them to the world. Thank sure, you so much you. for this opportunity. I owe you. Definitely we'll celebrate this sometime in the near future. For sure. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Thank you.